so it's been a while since my last video. The holidays approached and well I had the collection of Yuletide and got really busy with that and then Black Friday and then Christmas and more design work and oh my gosh things just got crazy and so I am back. I hope all of you had a wonderful Christmas, a happy new year. I had a wonderful time that I spent with family and friends and it was just nice to be able to get at least a couple days where I could relax with my family and friends. So I have so much to cover and one of the latest things is I did just launch a Valentine themed digital collection, at least part of it's Valentine themed. There are vintage paper dolls included, which could be used all year long. And when printing these out, my toner ran out. And so I had four boxes as backup. And as some of you may know, I use the remanufactured toner cartridges. Well, I usually have pretty good luck, but all four of the boxes had defective toner. So I got like, totally blue images and then I have really yellow or really pink. I mean the color variations are so bad and that's so far off. So I don't have a really good example of how these print out because I'm still waiting for my replacement toner to come but I didn't want to wait with these being you know some of it being Valentine themed and I have some projects that I would love to do with all of you so I'm going to go ahead and do this video and share you know this new collection along with a Dollar Tree haul and normally I don't do hauls but it's something that my mom said I probably should do because I'm always at the Dollar Tree purchasing a lot of different things, things that can be incorporated into journals and cards at an affordable price because crafting can be very expensive. So any way that you know you could do this to cut costs and still create beautiful things is one of my goals. It's one of the things that I do personally and so I'm going to share with you some tips, tricks of what I do and some projects coming up. So here's a little sample of the digital collection. It's called Valentine Splendor Paper Dolls and Valentines. There is a, a Victorian Splendor digital card kit where I do a video showing how to make those Victorian reproduction cards as well. But this is mainly a collection filled with, you know, these beautiful vintage children and I spend so much time. I wish I had some good prints to show you, but I spend so much time in, you know, redoing the hair and the facial features because the resolution on these old pictures is so poor that it takes me days, days and hours of work to, you know, make the resolution and their faces just you know everything crisp and clear and as good as I can get it. I was just really excited to launch this collection and I hope all of you will enjoy it as well. If you subscribe to the newsletter you'll see a 30% off coupon code so that's another great way to take advantage of some savings on this collection if you haven't already subscribed to the newsletter. Okay, so in addition to the Dollar Tree haul, I also want to take a little time and share with you some of the Valentine themed blue fern stamps that I'm carrying. Now some of these have been discontinued. I don't think that they're gonna bring some of these back. I could be wrong, they might change their mind. But as far as I know, I do believe some of these have already been discontinued and they may no longer carry them. So I'm going to start with this one. This one is called True Heart. I absolutely love this stamp. This I believe is one of the discontinued stamps. I have ordered 12 of them. I have about four of them in stock and this is one that I will be using in my project that I'm going to show you in another video. The next one, this one has been discontinued. I was not able to get any more of these. I have about, I think, four or five of them in stock, so when these sell out, I can't get any more. They will be gone. This one is called Sweet Valentine. Again, you have this beautiful postcard here. 
if you don't want it to be a Valentine greeting, you know, you want to change the theme up a little bit, that's very easy to do. You could just put a little postage stamp over it and create a Christmas postcard or whatever theme, just a general theme if you'd like. And then it has this beautiful floral teacup here and it's another sweet little stamp set. So if you like this, don't wait. I can't get any more. And I do believe this one has been discontinued because when I went to order more, it was not available on their site. And in speaking closely with Blue Fern because I designed for Blue Fern, <laughs> I don't believe that they're gonna get any more of these in. Here is Love Story 1, Love Story 2. Again, I think that these have been discontinued. Uh, Love Story 1 just has some cute little elements here. I love this little book. It says Love Story, so that'd be something that really cute that you could do, incorporate into some of your Valentine-themed envelopes or um, tags. This one I absolutely love. This is Love Story 2. I only have four of these available. I was not able to get any more. So again, if you see something that you like here, be sure to grab it while I have it in stock because I can't get any more of these. Love this little uh, heart background here, the little sentiment. Both of these are really nice just for adding little different elements that you might want to collage with to create journal pages, tags, whatever it might be. Another one of my favorites. I do have one more of these coming. That was all I could get. This is called Key to My Heart. Love this stamp. It's just another really beautiful stamp set. You got the hearts with the key, the rose, these keys. It's gorgeous. So I think I have like four or five of these left in stock. Again, I can't get any more. So if you see it, be sure to run and get it while you can still get it. These have always been very popular. These are some great sellers of mine and it's the Heartland Textures and the Heartland Word Art. Great border stamps from your tags, journal pages, cards. Um, you can do so much with these stamps. They're just beautiful. And so this I have, I think, seven or eight of them in stock. I think I have maybe five or six more coming. I don't think that these have been been discontinued but I just wanted to share them because they're beautiful stamps love these my Valentine uh, this is really sweet stamp it's got the doily heart here love this Valentine my Valentine font is just very Victorian love it I am not sure but I think this is also one that's been discontinued I have about four I think in stock and then I was only able to get a few more so again you know these are very limited if you see it you like it you know you want to add it to your stamp collection because these don't have to be just Valentine Day stamps you could use these for any Victorian theme shabby chic theme whatever it might be and then romantic accents this one I'm not sure on as far as if it's being discontinued or not I just thought that this is another really nice one if you're looking for some Valentine themed stamps. This one is, you know, just really lovely with the flourish border here. And then you have this flourish with the cherub in the middle and this fan. It's a beautiful, beautiful stamp set. And then last, the winged hearts. I don't think that this one's been discontinued. To my knowledge, I could be wrong. <laughs> But uh, again, another one that would be fun, you could always take the wings and use them, you know, to place your paper dolls over the stamped image. Just something that you could create that would be kind of whimsical and fun. So those are the Valentine themed stamps that I have. Again, many of them are being discontinued by Blue Fern. So if you see them, be sure to grab them. If you have any questions, be sure to send me an email. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you might have. And for any orders that are placed for these, I will be sure to get your orders in the front of the list and get them shipped out right away to ensure that you do have time to make those Valentine Day cards. So there are the blue fern stamps that I wanted to share with all of you. And now the Dollar Tree haul. 
Okay, so I'm going to start off with these wooden heart ornaments. I love these. Oh my gosh. I so love these. It was exactly what I was looking for. I wanted some wooden hearts and these just, I loved them. It comes with 24 wooden hearts. There's three different designs. So you have these kind of uh, whimsical sort of hearts here. And then you have your traditional hearts. And then you have these very whimsical sort of hearts. I loved these. I just have so many ideas of what I'd like to do with these. You can do so much. You could create cute little picks. You could add them to the flap of an envelope as a closure. You could create uh, for the garland that I'd like to do. I thought that these would work well in the garland that I want to create. So, so many different ideas I have for these. Again, love them. So I picked up quite a few bags of these wooden heart ornaments. The next thing that I got were these DIY pins, these heart pins. Again, I thought that these would be really cute. You could take and create a card and then take one of these clips and just kind of clip it on there. Maybe add in a little sentiment. So I grabbed a few packs of these, just thought that they were really cute. The next items that I picked up were these confetti hearts. I loved this confetti. I thought it was so nice for what you get. You get all these beautiful different heart shapes in there. I thought that you could sprinkle these, you know, in some packaging or in the card set that I would like to make. You could make a beautiful shaker cards with these. So I picked up a few bags of the confetti. Just really nice. The next item I got were these beaded wooden hearts. I was so excited to find these. I actually went online to order a whole case of them, but they were sold out. So I was thrilled to find that the Dollar Tree where my parents reside, because I was visiting them over Christmas, and I live out in the country where we don't have a Dollar Tree. Well, their Dollar Tree had them, and these are just so nice. You could easily make these, but you know, for a dollar, why would you want them? I mean, they're just, I think they're nice as they are. But I do have some ideas of how I'd like to take and alter them a little bit. So I'm going to do a little project with these. Maybe create something, you know, add these in with my garland, or create something kind of cute as far as something ornamental. I'm not sure yet, I just loved the look of these. So they have some red ones that say, Be Mine. I love this one, it says True Love. It's just, you know, the nice neutral wood look there. Hugs and XOXO. So the next item that I picked up were these heart doilies, and I got the white, pink, and red. I just thought that these would work so nicely to layer with in creating the cards, you know, especially some of these larger cards. I just thought that you could really do some fun things with these doilies. So many different things that you can do with these. So I picked up a few packages of each of the heart doilies. The next items that I picked up were some of the jute twine, which is a staple item that I like to get. I use this for so many different things, and it does seem like the size has gotten smaller, but still for a dollar, I thought it, you know, it's still a good buy. And then they also had the cotton twine in the Valentine section beautiful colors, and again, if you're creating tags or you want to wrap things around maybe some vintage books for display, 
so many different things that this can be used for, so I picked up a couple of each of these. The next items that I picked up were the chalkboard tags, and I also found these galvanized metal hearts. Now these I thought might be fun to kind of experiment with. I thought that I would grab my embossing folder and run it through my die cutting machine and see if I could get it to emboss through on the metal. I'm not sure how thick the metal is, so I'm not sure if it'll work, but it's something that I'm going to try to do. If not, I will find a way to alter these, make some cute ornamental pieces with them, or, you know, I might include them in my garland. I'm not sure, but I thought that I would start with these, and if I like them, I'll probably run back and get some more of these. And then they have the chalkboard tag hearts. It's just the regular tags. They have the tag clothespins and the circular chalkboard tags. So I picked up some of each. And again, these I thought would look really good in the garland. You could create some little sentiments on there with the chalk writer pen that I also got from the Dollar Tree. I'm not sure how well these work. I haven't tried them yet, but I'm hoping that it works pretty good. And so it's one of the projects that you'll see me doing in an upcoming video when I'm creating my garland and my card sets. I also found this sign. And again, I thought it would be fun to kind of paint over the days until the big day, leave the heart, and then just add in some of my vintage paper dolls to create a, you know, cute little sign that I can display maybe on my buffet or on a bookshelf. And so this will also be another project that I will be working on in an upcoming video. The next items that I picked up were these pink packages of bling, and I really loved this one. They have it in the clear and some other colors, but I really like this because it has that delicate lace appearance to it. And so what I thought I could do is I also picked up a package of gel pens, and I thought that I could take this lace looking bling and wrap it around the pen and maybe add in some of this other bling that I found and just kind of decorate the pen to include in my card set that I'm going to make. So that is also one of the projects that I'll be working on when I create my card set that I'm going to show you in the next video that I'm going to launch. I picked up some other packages of bling that I found. I like these, just they're fun to take and cut and use little pieces to create little accents or embellishments on cards, tags, or other projects that you might be doing. These ones I thought were really pretty. Again, they come in different colors. I just kind of wanted to stick with these pink and clear colors, you know, more of that Valentine theme. I did pick up some of the gemstone stickers in the white, pink, and red. And then I have some of the adhesive diamond wrap. I love this because it's already got the adhesive to it. So again, when decorating my pens, I thought I could just take and wrap this around some of the pen to dress it up. The next thing that I picked up was this heart ribbon lace. Loved this lace. You get 1.3 yards. You get two different designs to choose from. And I just thought that this would work nice, you know, to incorporate into my garland or to decorate an envelope with or tags. I picked up quite a few of these. And then I also picked up this crocheted lace. Now I've picked this up quite a few times. This is probably one of the staple items that I get from the Dollar Tree when I'm there. And I thought that you could layer these two together and maybe even add in some of this pink lace that I found. 
and just layer all those laces to, you know, you could tie a really pretty bow with it. Again, when I'm making my garland or decorating envelopes, whatever it might be, I thought that I could, you know, do quite a few things with the crocheted lace, this sheer pink ribbon that I found, and this heart lace. So I picked up quite a bit of it. Okay, so a few other wooden elements that I picked up were these wooden sticks. Really liked these. I thought that you could create some really cute picks with these. You could take and maybe layer on some of these or layer on some of these hearts and just create some really cute picks. So I picked up a package of those. It comes with 22 a pack. And then again, these floral wooden ornaments. I just thought that you could, you could even add in a little bling center, just to create something really fun as far as picks that you can insert, whether it be in a basket that you're creating if you're doing gift baskets, or the card sets that I'm wanting to make. I just thought that, you know, these would be fun to incorporate. I also picked up some of these pearls. I was hoping that the hole was large enough to where I could slide them through the toothpick there and then just add these little pearl elements to the hearts. Again, just creating a cute little pick. So the next item that I picked up were these fabric gift bags. Now these they have them in the red and the pink. I picked up all of the pink that they had. I thought that this would be fun. You could fill it with the die cuts, the little paper doll die cuts, and maybe even throw in some of these wooden ornaments and just create a cute little embellishment pack. Maybe include some tags and give it to, you know, friends who like to craft or do card making, journal making, and just as a little gift. And then I did pick up some of these chocolates, the Lindor truffles and the Godiva. And you know, for a dollar, I'm not sure if it's the greatest deal, but Godiva chocolate and Lind Lindor chocolate, you know, like this is really good stuff here. <laughs> so I thought that it would be fun to incorporate these either into the card set or include in one of the baggies as a little goodie baggie. You, you could put it into a Valentine basket. You could even take and glue them onto the picks and insert them, you know, into a stuffed bag or basket as well. So I did pick up some of these. So some home decor items that I found were these shadow boxes. And I thought that these would be fun again to use my new digital paper dolls that I created and just create some really fun shadow box displays that I can put on my dining room table or in my bookcase. And I picked up this pink one as well. And again, I just thought that you could do something really cute with these. So this is an upcoming project that I'll be doing as well. And then I found this really cute little monthly block set and they had three cute little designs. This one was the house. They had a tree design and then they had one, it was just a square background. This one I really liked because I plan on using the paper dolls and just creating a cute little display so this is another little project idea that I'll be doing in one of my upcoming videos. So the next thing I did was head on over to where they have the signs. And I really found some really cute signs that I have some really good ideas. At least I think that they're good ideas. This one, however, 
this one broke in transit from my parents' house back home, and so it needs a little tender loving care to be put back together. But my idea for this is, you know, I'm going to glue it, and then I'm probably gonna tape it. I thought what I could do is grab some of my iron orchid molds and create a vintage looking key here. And then just also add some of those elements to the heart and just create a shabby chic looking sign that I'll probably display somewhere in my house. I'm not sure where, but that's the idea of what I plan on doing with this sign. So again, that'll be another upcoming project that I will be doing. Then I found these envelope signs. I really loved these and I have so many ideas of what I want to do with these, but I picked up two of them. And again, I'm going to incorporate my vintage paper dolls and maybe some of my iron orchid mold uh, pieces as well. The next thing that I picked up from their sign section were these gnomes. These gnomes are so adorable. And when I went back the following day to grab a few other items, they were all gone. So if you're seeing these and you love them, you know, I'd run over and hurry and get them if you can still get them. These are just so cute. And what I plan on doing is just changing them up a little bit, maybe doing something with their faces and putting them in my bookshelf. I currently have my Christmas gnomes there, so I'm going to replace these with where my Christmas gnomes were. I can't wait to make something fun with these three gnome signs that I found. I don't plan on changing them that much because I think that they're already so cute, but I would like to just kind of make each one a little different. So when I display it, you know, it's kind of a trio of gnomes that have a little bit of difference between one another. These are just so cute. So the next thing that I picked up were these wooden boxes or containers. And my idea is to create a card set using these. So just in a little, you know, preview here. I took and pried off the truck off of this one so that there was nothing on it. And then I'm going to decorate this. And then in their thank you card section, I grabbed a package of these thank you cards and I took the envelopes out because I thought I could just send these thank you cards without envelopes in some of the orders that I send out. Or I could, you know, alter them and even put something in the center circle there and just leave the flowers. You could alter these cards and make some really pretty cards with them. Here I've cut out a few of the designs and I plan on embellishing them a little bit and stamping the envelopes. But here's the envelopes that I grabbed from the thank you card set. And the digitals that I cut out, they fit perfectly to those envelopes. And so there's five different cards. I have four printed out. And then I thought that I could take and just create this cute little card set. And so I'm going to decorate this up. And then I have my pens that I'm going to include. And I also have a few other things that I'm going to show later in this video that I'm going to add to the card set. So that's one idea that I have of what I would like to do with these little wooden box containers. You could even leave the love. It's, you know, perfect for Valentine's Day and it would actually look really cute as well with those cards. They also have this one with the gnome and I have some ideas of what I'd like to do with this one as well. I have a gnome card set that I just sent out in my last newsletter. It was a freebie kit that I sent out as a Christmas gift for all of you who follow me and who have subscribed to my newsletter. And I said that I would do a tutorial on how to make these gnome cards. So I plan on using this maybe to hold the cards and doing something kind of fun there, maybe changing it to make it more Christmas themed, but 
those were my ideas of what to do with these wooden containers. You could even fill them with little flowers. Um, I think you could do a lot of different things with these. Just, they're really, really kind of cool. So I picked up like 14, 15 of these to make different projects with. Okay, next I picked up some of this tissue paper and I thought that I could take and cut out some of this and decoupage with it or I thought that I could take and use, of it, use some of it to back my cards with or if you're doing like a gift basket or a stuffed paper bag, gift bag, that sort of thing, that this would be really nice for that. I loved these gold foiled hearts and just the design of these, that watercolor heart print. I just loved them and if there's more, I might have to run back and get some more of this. I love it. A few other things that I found that I thought I could use for filler for some of my baskets and card sets was this glitter tool and then this decorative mesh. Really love this decorative mesh. It's got such a nice texture to it. It's got that flocked kind of white snowy stuff on there and yeah, I just thought that that would be really pretty backed behind some of my cards and if I create some of the stuffed gift paper bags, those sorts of things, uh, this is always something that comes in really handy. Then I found this garland and as I stated previously, I do plan on making a garland for my fireplace mantle and I really loved this pearl kind of wired garland in here. It comes with two yards to a spool, so I grabbed a few of those that I'm going to kind of intertwine into my garland that I'm going to make in an upcoming video. So next I headed on over to the Christmas section and they still had some Christmas clearance items available, especially in their trim section. And I thought that this would be perfect for the Valentine's Day projects that I want to do, as well as some future Christmas projects. So for 50 cents, you know, that was a heck of a buy. I picked up the mesh. They had this gingham ribbon trim, which I thought would be perfect for Valentine's Day. They had this ribbon mesh. They had glitter tulle. So I just picked up an assortment of their red trims that they had in their Christmas section so that I could get it at that 50 cent price, which is a steal. And some other Christmas trims that I found are in the gold tones. So here I have some of the gold and the silver. Silver is always great to mix in with Valentine red tones, pink tones, even the gold. So I grabbed some of that, more of the glitter tool in the gold and silver. And then this I thought would work really well with a future Christmas project that I plan on doing with my Yuletide paper designs. It's just got that uh, ivy berry print on there and I just thought, yeah, you could do some really neat journal cover pages, a journal spine, uh, some envelopes, tags, so many different things. And again, for 50 cents, the price was right, so I picked up a few of those. Also in the Christmas section, they had boxes and boxes of Christmas cards. Now, for 50 cents, I should have grabbed more because there's so many different projects that you can do with these. You can alter the cards and create, you know, whole new different Christmas cards. But my main purpose for these was to use the envelopes. And I thought that I could use them in my upcoming project with my digital designs that I just launched. 
So as an example, here is one of the larger cards that I cut out from my digital design. And I thought that I could use one of the envelopes, which this would fit perfectly inside of, and just decorate the envelopes up, maybe use some of those blue fern stamps, stamp on the envelope, and just do some fun things. I mean, a dollar for these was a heck of a buy. A dollar, what am I talking about? It was 50 cents. Not even a dollar, 50 cents. So I grabbed three boxes of these and plan on using the envelopes and then maybe I'll just save the cards, send them out with some orders next Christmas and you know, make sure everything gets used. But yeah, I couldn't pass the, you know, the buy on that. So one of the last Valentine Day items that I picked up from the Dollar Tree were these notepads. And this was one of the other things that I thought I could incorporate into my little card set here that I'm going to do. And I do plan on recovering the fronts of these, but I loved the foil tone colors to it and just thought that it would be fun to alter these and include in my card sets. So I picked up three packages of those. It has eight notepads to a package. So just some general items that I had found were these rub-on transfers. I thought that these would be fun just to put in some of my journal pages, uh, my letter diaries, digital kit, you know, that would be a great collection to use this with or fashion bazaar. And so I picked up some of these rub-on transfers just because I thought it would be fun to collage with them in creating some maybe art journal pages or even for tags. And then I found these butterfly die cuts. Now these I have not seen before. I've seen where they've had other butterfly stickers and some butterflies in general, but these were actual die cuts and they're so pretty. They have this gold foil and they come in these beautiful colors this fuchsia color, these golden brown tones, and then I found these teal ones. And so I just love these. They only had one of the teal, but I would love to go back and get some more. This is something that I think you could do so many different things with. You could create a spring garland with it, you know, butterfly cards, so many different things you could do with these. I'm probably going to go back and get some more of these. Love them. So one of the other home decor things that I picked up was one of these metal tins or tubs and I plan on doing a project with this as well, a Valentine theme project. I am going to pull out my iron orchid molds and kind of just do something really shabby chic to this. So I did pick up a few of these and plan on doing some centerpieces for my dining room table. And then last, I just have some staple items that I picked up. Nothing really all that exciting, but when I'm at the Dollar Tree, I always like to be sure to grab a few of these. This is the foam mounting tape. You can pick it up in the automotive department, and this is just wonderful for creating 3D effects if you love to do cards. I love this stuff. I use it a lot. There has been a few times where I've picked up some of the rolls and uh, it's not sticky. So I've picked up a few bad rolls, but for the most part, for how much I've used this, it's just really great stuff. And then I also picked up some of the smaller pop dot adhesives for my 3D pop-up cards as well. I also found one of these craft scrapers. You know, I thought that this would be good to use if for you know, modeling paste. I was going to do some iron orchid molds, so I thought maybe I could flatten the back with this. And so I'm kind of anxious to try this and see if it works as good as I think it's gonna work. And then I picked up a few of the pump spray bottles, hoping that the pumps work in these. I like to create my own little watercolor sprays. So that's what I'm gonna do with these. I also might make some 
coffee mixtures for, you know, spraying on some of the crocheted lace to give it more of a vintage look. And then I just have these clip push pins. These are nice to kind of decorate a little bit or embellish a little bit. You can uh, use some Prima wax over them to kind of just stress them up a little bit to give them more of a vintage look. And they're great just for, you know, using on tags or journal pages and so forth. So I plan on doing some fun things with these. And then last, I found this cutting mat and it's the first time I've seen this as well. I just thought that this was a nice size. I am going to be doing some card classes and for those who have to travel and for the students that I have in my class, I thought that these would be nice to bring along. I don't normally make cards that are more than, you know, uh, six inches in height or eight inches in height. So I thought that this would be great for, you know, doing some measurements if they need to tee off anything, that they are able to tee off and align things for measuring. And so, yeah, I grabbed one of these. I'm probably gonna get some more for my students. Yeah, I, that is, oh, there is one other thing that I did get. I picked up these little mini composition books and I plan on altering these. Of course, I'm going to use my new digital paper dolls in decorating these and just thought I could maybe add them to my card set or do something kind of fun with a journal. So that is everything that I have picked up at the Dollar Tree. It was a huge haul, huge. I got lots of stuff, but I am excited to get started on the projects. So I hope all of you will follow me in the upcoming videos of some of the projects that I'm going to make with the Dollar Tree items that I've shown you and with the digital kit here and the blue fern stamps and all of these wonderful Dollar Tree items that I had found. If you like these videos, be sure to subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed, hit the like button and please leave a comment. I'd love to hear your ideas. I love reading your comments. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you back in the future videos that I'm going to do in creating some fun projects with everything that I have shown you here today.